I'm at the uh, 3D Challenge Workshop in uh, London with Uga and Dan, and I know Dan is a veteran of uh, social innovation camps, in fact, one of the uh, inventors. So what have you guys been talking about? Uh, well, I suppose at the moment we're talking about open sourcing everything, which might not be such a surprise, but I'm, I mean, I'm really here just to pick up some ideas because uh, I think the I've realised that what software and open source software have been doing really is kind of just prototyping the idea of prototyping and now prototyping spreading out into like everything with 3D printing you can start to actually make stuff and then of course you've got all the Arduino scene and the hack spaces and so I'm really interested in the same hacker ethic that comes into things like SciCamp combining it with social impact spreading out into hardware into printing things and yeah so I'm really here to learn from other people who've thought more about 3D really. Uh, well, I have a lot of experience in uh, in East Africa, really, and I don't have a, a winning project for a 3D printing challenge as of yet, but it's great to exchange ideas and contribute to other people's projects' ideas, and we ju we're just talking about prosthetics before, like, an amazing new mm. world for me. Uh, I, my experience is in ICTs, really, so uh, it's just incredible how... 3D printing could open up complete new avenues. Um, just now we were just chatting about uh, ICT gadgets and repairability. So 3D printing could constitute also a way to extend the life of our gadgets. And uh, let's see. I have some ideas around a restart project that we're starting with a friend. And hopefully 3D printing can get into that as well.